It's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make three delicious vegan desserts that everyone can enjoy. As you guys know, I love to make healthy recipes for you guys, but every once in a while, I like to make treats that are still made from good ingredients but are a little bit more decadent. That's why I've decided to team up with Enjoy Life Foods who is sponsoring this video to show you guys three amazing recipes that are sure to satisfy your sweet tooth. If you're not familiar with Enjoy Life Foods, they are an allergen friendly company and all of their products are free of the top eight allergens plus a bunch of other products which is awesome for us vegans because everything is free from dairy and eggs and it's also free from soy, gluten, coconut, there's a bunch of other things. So practically everyone can enjoy their products. Today we're going to be making some chocolate covered cherry truffles, some sea salt chocolate fudge, and last but not least some double chocolate chip cookies. I will have all of the recipes and instructions linked in the description of this video, so be sure to check that out. But for now, let's get on to cooking. So for our first recipe, we're going to be doing a healthier take on some chocolate covered cherry truffles. And to start out this recipe, you're going to need some frozen cherries that you thawed. We're going to put them in a food processor with some medjool dates and a little bit of vanilla extract. Then you're just going to blend this together until it forms a nice paste and it shouldn't be too chunky. Then at this point we're going to add a cup of oat flour to the mix and blend everything together. And to make the oat flour I just blended a cup of my oats in a blender. You don't need to go out and purchase oat flour, it's actually pretty easy to make yourself. But afterwards you should have a pretty thick mix like this and this is going to be the inside for our truffles. So you can remove that from the blender. And then we're going to be forming little balls and I just wanted to let you guys know it does make it a little bit easier if you keep your hand wet for this step. So using a one tablespoon scoop, you're going to scoop out some dough and then use your hands to form it into a little ball and then just place it on a plate or a tray lined with some parchment paper. So then you're just going to repeat this step with the rest of the balls. Mine made about 14 balls in total and then afterwards you're just going to put these in the freezer for about an hour just so they're a little bit harder and easier to coat in chocolate. So now I'm going to teach you guys how to make a double boiler. This is the easiest and safest way to melt chocolate. You can do it in the microwave but it might seize which is when it thickens up and it's a lot harder to deal with. So all you really need is to put an inch or two of water into a bottom of a pan. Then you're just going to cover the pan with a bowl and this glass bowl is going to heat up and then that in turn will melt the chocolate. So for this recipe, I'm using the Enjoy Life dark chocolate morsels because I think dark chocolate and cherries pairs really, really well together. So I just put them into the bowl and as you can see, as the water starts to simmer or boil, the chocolate is going to start to melt and you just want to stir it occasionally just to make sure it's melting evenly. And then you do want to take it off of the heat a little bit before all of the chocolate has melted because if you wait until then, it will probably over melt and then seize again. So as you can see, there are a few chips left in the mix, but I took it off the heat and then I just stirred everything together until those tiny pieces of chips had melted and the chocolate was ready to dunk our cherry truffles in. So at this point we can take our cherry balls out of the freezer and then you're just going to place them in the melted chocolate and stir it around with your spatula until it's well coated. Then you're going to put it back on the parchment paper. And the good thing about these truffles is because we stored them in the freezer, the chocolate on them is actually going to harden a little bit more so they'll be ready to eat even faster. And yeah, you just wait till the chocolate gets hardened and they're ready to enjoy. So you can put them on a serving platter or just eat them straight off of that plate. And I wanted to show you guys a clip of the inside shot so you could see all of that cherry goodness and that crunchy dark chocolate exterior shell. I love how this recipe has simple ingredients but still tastes so delicious. So then for our next recipe, it's actually going to be pretty simple too. We're going to be making a sea salt chocolate fudge. And we actually only need three ingredients for this recipe. We're going to start out by melting some chocolate in a double boiler again. This time I used the Enjoy Life semi-sweet chocolate in the mega chunk form. So you're just going to melt that all up using the same method. And then once it's melted, you can actually carefully remove it from the heat and we're just going to use the same bowl. And then to make our fudge, we only really need to add some sort of butter to it. So I'm adding sunflower seed butter because this is not free because it's sunflower seeds and it's very allergen friendly and most people could eat it. So you're just going to stir that together. 
And this is essentially our fudge. So you can pour this into a larger tray and cut it yourself. But I just purchased this silicone mold on Amazon. It's actually an ice cube tray, but it's really easy to pop the fudge out after it's solidified. So I just decided to use this instead. I'll link it below if you're interested. But you're just going to put a little bit more than half of a tablespoon of that melted mixture into each hole. Or like I said, if you're just using a larger pan, you can just pour the whole thing evenly into a larger pan. And then to clean the edges of this mold, I actually have found it to be easiest to use a toothpick. You just run it along the sides of the mold and then swirl it around a little in the center and this helps it to even off and have a nice smooth top instead of being kind of lumpy from when you poured it in. So you're just going to repeat this process with all of the molds and that's it. So you can keep it here if you don't like sea salt chocolate, but I personally love the combination of salty and sweet. So I just sprinkled some coarse sea salt on top of this and I put it in the freezer just to harden for a bit. And then afterwards you have some nice fudge and you can actually store this in the fridge. You don't need to store it in the freezer. It helps it to have a really nice and creamy consistency as you can see right here. This stuff is pretty dang fudgy. So then finally we're going to be making some double chocolate chip cookies. And these cookies are so delicious, my family loves them. So to start out, we're going to be making a flax egg by mixing two tablespoons of flax with six tablespoons of water. Just going to set this aside and let it thicken. In the meantime, we're going to be mixing our dry ingredients. So I added some of the Enjoy Life all-purpose flour blend with ancient grains, some cacao powder, some baking powder, and a little bit of salt. And then you're just going to stir this together until everything is well incorporated. And then for our wet ingredients, we're actually going to be using melted chocolate as the base for this recipe. This gives us an extra fudgy chocolate flavor and it gives a nice sweetness to the recipe without the need to add any additional sugar other than what's already in the chips. And to make things a little bit creamier, we're also going to be adding some sunflower seed butter as well. So to start out, we're just going to mix these together. And you wanna mix these together first because the sunflower seed butter is at room temperature and if you add a really cold liquid to the chocolate first, it might harden up. So I'd recommend doing this first. Then we're going to add in the other wet ingredients, which would be our flax egg, some vanilla extract, and a little bit of plant-based milk. And then from this step, you're just going to mix everything together. It may take a little bit, but at the end, you can see we have a pretty thick chocolatey mix. And then we're just going to add this to our bowl that had the dry ingredients in it and you're going to stir everything together until you get a nice cookie dough. And then finally, what is life without a little bit of extra chocolate? So we're going to add in some of the Enjoy Life semi-sweet mini chips into this recipe. So you're just going to put that in the batter and then fold it in until everything is mixed together and super, super chocolatey, just the way I like it. And now we're going to make our cookies. So I made pretty small cookies. You can make them bigger if you want, but I liked the way that these came out. I just used a tablespoon measure again and I scooped some dough out. And then these cookies aren't gonna spread out too, too much. So you want to spread out the dough into a circle before you place it on the tray. And you're just going to repeat this with your dough. I think this made around 20 cookies for me. And then once they come out of the oven, they're going to look a little something like this. So again, you can serve them up on a platter or just eat them straight off the tray, dunk them in milk, put some vegan ice cream in between them. The possibilities are endless. And that is it for this chocolatey video. Let me know in the comments below which recipe you thought looked the most delicious and which one you wanna try first. I'm gonna be honest, guys, I'm a huge chocolate fan, so that's kind of a hard question. I don't even know which one I would pick. Also, don't forget to check out Enjoy Life Foods. Their products are available in a lot of different grocery stores, but in case you haven't already seen them on your store shelves, I will link a store locator in the description of this video so you can check that out and find the nearest supplier. And if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for watching this video and be sure to hit that little red subscribe button down there. I post two new videos every single week so you don't wanna miss out on all of the fun. Other than that, I hope you guys are enjoying life. Get it? Ugh. I hope you're enjoying your day and have a great rest of your day, whatever time of day it is for you. How many times did I just say day? It's definitely time to end this and go eat some chocolate chip cookies. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.